hello everyone welcome back in this video i will talk about azure iot hub how you create azure iot hub how you add devices to azure iot hub or how you send messages to a device in azure iot hub this will be just a quick overview uh, if you want me to delve deeper on this topic please let me know and then i'll probably create um create videos explaining the entire workflow how you add devices how you create dps how you manage how you message how you update and all those things um, but before starting uh, let me introduce myself um i'm sushil i'm a certified cloud and devops expert I have more than a decade of industry experience. I'm, I'm, I'm passionate about fitness and technology and I share my knowledge using my blog, the tech guy dot in. And now before starting with Azure IoT, I really want to touch base on what is really IoT. Because if you're talking about IoT, Azure IoT Hub, Azure IoT Hub is essentially a platform that gives you a mechanism to manage your IoT devices and manage your IoT infrastructure or whatever you want to call it. IoT as the name uh, suggests, it's the internet of things. It, it's a lot of devices which are connected to your IoT platform over the internet. That is uh, IoT in short. Now these objects can be ranging from home devices to industrial machinery, which collects and exchange data or maybe you can you want them to perform some sort of task because right now you would have seen right ac um, um wi-fi acs or maybe you know there are a lot of ads where um where a celebrity would be promoting that you can turn on your ac sitting at your office just open your app and turn on your ac and do a lot of things that is what iot is um your devices are connected over the internet and you don't really have to be present in the same physical network you can really manage those devices from anywhere in the world um, for example let me give you a very very simple example you're using a smart um, smart lamp for example you might have used a, a smart switch right um, you open your app and you turn on your switch or you turn off your switch just for with the use of your app or for example, uh, you know, you have your security cameras. Now your security cameras, you're managing or using your phone, um, where your phone is not really in the same network. When I say in the same network, your camera and your phone is not connected to the same network. They're not really talking to each other. How you're accessing is your cameras are connected to internet, your phone is connected to internet. And then there is an app, centralized app or centralized IoT platform where your camera is sending all the information and your app is receiving and fetching all the information and giving all the information. That is what IoT is. IoT is, is, IoT is essentially um, a lot of devices uh, connected to internet, if I have to put it in simple words. Why do we really use IoT? As I mentioned, I, as I gave you the examples, it really enhances your efficiency. It makes everything convenient and automates everything. Uh, for example, I have, a, I have a switch in my home and uh, I, I might be using some sort of um, thing where I want, uh, want something to be turned on at a particular time and turned off at a particular time. I don't really have to worry about, you know, remembering and that I have to switch on this at this time and switch off at this time, I can probably use an IoT device and I'll I'll automate it. I'll probably have a have a timer and and then it does its job. And probably it gives me a, a metric and it gives me a monitoring mechanism also where I can really see the consumption. I can do a lot of things with IoT. So it makes my life convenient and it it, it really provides an automation. Now, uh, I gave you a smart home example. Similarly, you can have healthcare, agriculture, industry, you can have it everywhere um, enabled. So um, IoT really enables or connects physical world to the digital world and creates a, a smart uh, interconnected environment. Now, what is IoT Hub? IoT Hub is basically a managed service 
hosted in the cloud that acts as a central mass message hub for communication in both the direction because when we talk about iot hub there are two way communication right there is iot application and there is an attached device to it so it allows to connect millions of devices now based on the SKU that you're using it has a limitation on how many messages you want to send and then you will be charged based on the messages and there are a lot of lot of options available but iot i mean iot hub allows you to connect millions of devices to their backend solutions so that is what iot hub is all about now in iot hub you can add your devices you can have your iot applications and you can have a lot of things and then iot hub supports several messaging messaging patterns you can include device to cloud you can upload files from device you can you can have request reply methods and you can do a lot of things and it also supports monitoring to help you help you track creating devices uh, it helps you uh, connecting devices and device failures also now if you really want to see a basic overview uh, azure iot hub you'll have a lot of devices and then you'll have your insights monitoring control app and everything now what we will do in this lab um, we'll create an iot hub and azure uh, you know microsoft is very generous they have they have created a a raspberry uh, pi simulator i'll just show you how you can add a device and and probably send messages and test a device let me uh, jump back in the portal now this is my portal i've already created an iot to save some time but if you have want to see how you can create your iot you can just okay you can go and create a resource you can go to internet of things and you can click on iot hub create now in this um, i can select a resource group i can select a name i'm just creating a checking a random name that this has to be unique um, region and then the tier standard basic and free if you really want to see what is the difference between these three uh, base uh, free if you see uh, free does not really have, um, have a device updates defender it it only has daily message limit as 8000 message size is only uh, 0.5 kb you cannot really send messages to device there are a lot of lot of things because it is it is just free basic um, uh, you have you can send up to 3 billion messages 4 kb is your message size and it has a lot of added uh, functionality but it doesn't have a device twin option available um, an iot edge and standard you really have everything and you can have those add-on features also i mean these add-on features you can have these add-on features but for basic and free you do not really have those add-on features i'll tell you uh, uh, I'll, I'll tell you um, what the add-on features are now you have a daily message limit and you'll be charged based on the message limit that you want to use uh, and and then you can you can really select what mess what uh, message limit you want to set and then based on that you'll be uh, charged on that now now in the networking you can click on networking and obviously uh, private endpoint if you want to enable private endpoint if you don't you can have a public access obviously in production you would want private endpoint and the tls version what tls version you want to use now permission model whether you want rbac or you want sas also if you if you have worked on storage accounts you know what shared access policy is um, and then shared access policy and rbac and then you also can assign the permissions i mean I, in my account i do not really have permission um and then this is the add-on that i was talking about you can have two add-ons De defender for iot this is the azure defender you can enable defender for iot and then it charges per device and then you can have the device update for iot hub also when you add this then you are charged based on uh, this add-on that you have enabled i'll just disable this and then you have tags and then you can create it now i have a iot hub already created i'll go to the iot hub I can go to devices i mean in iot hub you can do a lot of things you can have iot edge but in this video i just want to limit this video to creating a device and adding a device but if you really want me to add more let me know and i will probably add more and i'll deep dive on these things how you create iot hub and then probably there is something that i want to 
talk about um, if, if you really want to cover this section there's something called device provisioning service which helps you manage this then you can have a central application also there are a lot of templates and you can use those templates and there are a lot of things that can be done with respect to iot hub now i go to device i click on add device and demo device and then um, i can save it if you noticed there was an option or i just forgot to mention there is an option of auto generate keys that's what i had selected and this is why uh, it created this um key obviously i mean i'll show you because i'm going to delete all this after the demo uh, it's just the SAS uh, storage access key. I mean, sorry, storage access key is basically for storage, but it's the access key. It's just like the access keys that you have in storage account. And then you have your connection string. Basically, it tells the host name is this. This is my host name. My device ID is this. This is my device ID. And this is my shared access key. So basically, using this connection string, any device will be able to connect to uh, my IoT hub. Now let me copy this. And there is this Azure um, Raspberry Pi web simulator, and I can just replace my connection string here. And let me test it. Now, if you see, it is able to connect right it is sending it is um, sending the messages um, that these are the messages now let me let me show you something now let me send a message to this device this thing um, video message for example and video let me send key value pair also and let me send it will take few seconds uh, you see uh, the message is there testing video message so i can really so if, if this was a if this was an iot device connected to this i can really send message i can i can i can do a lot of things i can manage my devices from this portal or from this iot hub so that is the whole idea of iot hub and how you connect your devices how you do a lot of things i hope this video helped feel free to let me know if you want me to cover more on the iot and please subscribe if you think these videos are helpful thank you and have a good day bye